Hi guys, Hunter Moss here, and today we will be doing a Let's Go Hunting Randomizer. I had to take it off Movie Maker because it doesn't allow you to do that anymore like it used to. Go check out Flinters because he ha did it on Movie Maker, and it doesn't work for his anymore too, so I grabbed all the, I wrote down all of them with a weapon. Let's go. Let's go hunting randomizer, and so I'll show you the what it looks like inside. See, that's that's all the stuff that we had in there for Movie Maker, but I had to move it to a toe because it it doesn't work for Movie Maker anymore. So I had to move it to the toe because, um, and I had to move the subscriber hunt one too. And right now, we I'm not done yet, so all I have it what the person who I have in here right now is Buck one one two two three three four. I'm not doing it yet. I'll contact you through the hunter, okay, Buck, and I'll get you. We'll get a time set up, and I'll record it and stuff. And so, let's do the let's go hunting. So, let's shake it up. Pop the lid. My first one, I don't remember what it was. I think we were just went on to a map, I believe. Because... Moose on Red Feather Falls with the 300 bolt action rifle. So... Let's set that aside and let's close this. And so, Buck112233, I'll be contacting you through the Hunter Classic. And if whoever, if somebody doesn't have Classic and they just have Call of the Wild, um, comment in the one of the videos and I'll do a Call of the Wild with them, you guys, okay? Okay. Um, and I want to sh tell you guys some stuff. Um, I will be doing a live stream this, this Thursday at 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock, um, Pacific? Central Eastern Time. 5 o'clock Central Eastern Time, I will be doing a live stream, so make sure to s tune into that. It's gonna be on Red Feather Falls. Not Red Feather, sorry. On, um, Valdebois. Sorry about that. I forgot what map I was going to do it on. And, um, I will have Alex Greenfield join me. I might have you come join. I'll ask you, Buck. One, one, two, two, three, three, four. I'll come and ask you if you want to join. Because you can be in it. You can be in a few videos. Because, um, and so then we will be doing some hunting on, for, on Valdebois for some, anything we see. But it will mainly be after Red Deer, some Alpine Ibex, and so, yeah, guys. Let's, we're gonna do that this Thursday at 5 o'clock Central Eastern Time. And then, uh, so my favorite five animals to hunt in the hunter my number one comes into red deer and i love hunting red deer i just the big stags it's so um amazing to watch the er, huge tops coming through the woods and stuff on a vat of wine hirschfeld and i just love seeing it and that roar that they do i should i don't know what to call it but i think it's like a roar and they're found on Red Feather Fall, not Red Feather, sorry, Valdebois and Hirschfelden. So they're found on those two maps for Red Deer. And then my second is White Tailed Deer. Because I love finding those huge non typicals. Watching those antlers that, with the crazy racks they have coming through like the trees and the grass and weeds. It is just crazy. And I love being in drives and shooting a nice non typical. I shot 85 scoring one doing a drive. And that was on Red Feather Falls because we were driving all the animals into the shooting range of Darkwood Lodge, I think it is. 
and so we drove all the animals into the range, and we just blocked it off, and we just started gunning them down, and I saw a non-typical that was just standing there, and I just shot it, and it just dropped, and I didn't even know it was a non-typical for a minute, and I'm like, wait, that's a weird rack, so then they're found on Red Heather Falls, um, White Heart, Loggers Point, and, um, Ah, yeah, those are the main maps that they're on. Oh, they're on Settlers Creek, too. They're not on Timbergold, that's Mule Deer. And so, um, so my third favorite has to be Mule Deer. I was a guest for so long, and all I hunted was Mule Deer and stuff like the Rabbit and Whitetail. But, so I loved hunting Mule Deer, so I decided to throw that in. My fourth favorite has to be Alpine Ibex. I love how it's uh, tricky to hunt them, but when you see a monster, it feels like rewarding rewarding to me because it's hard to find those big Ibex, and they're in such small areas of out of water. They're in like the top areas, but if you do an Alpine Ibex drive, you will... You will find like a alpine ibex. They will go down into the river when you're driving them. So sometimes if you're doing a drive, watch the river. Because I've seen them in the river sometimes when I had people driving alpine ibex down. I saw one in the river and it was a 65 scoring one. And then I saw a huge one but it ran for past me and it then we were hunting and then we went up into the mountains and it was a 230 scoring one and it was already in the mountains and so my fifth is probably um uh that's my my fifth favorite animal to hunt on the hunter is um uh my fifth favorite animal to hunt on the hunter is Roosevelt elk. I love watching the Roosevelt elk coming through the woods of Red Feather Falls with their huge antlers. They're so cool. And since they travel in groups, there's more likely to be a rare than if they were single. So, yeah, so I shot a melamistic moose. Or not moose, sorry elk roosevelt elk in a group and it was a it's on leaderboards it's a 392 scoring roosevelt melamistic elk and it is in my rares lodge lodge send me a friend request and i'll accept it and you guys can go see my rares go into my rares lodge and it's in my rares lodge so you guys can all see it and so that's gonna wrap up this video so bye guys see you next time i will be doing Make sure I remember that I will be doing a live stream at 5 o'clock Eastern Time this Thursday. So, bye guys. See you next time.